Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> it is fucking crazy. I feel flattered that some of you guys are already here waiting on me. Let me just fuck. It. Let me get my shit together. Okay, I muted it. Good morning, mother. Good morning, Dominic. If you guys could just someone comment just to confirm that you're hearing me. Um, so I just wanted to address something real quick that Dominic brought up. Um, what I said on the live last week that I would go live every day for July at 7.30. Um, he was saying that his, his response was, um, I need a hobby, right? And I, <laughs> that's funny, and I do, yeah, I should work less. But um, I just wanted to express, before I get into how to use Dashini and all this stuff, I just wanted to talk about why I'm doing this. So like, I've always, since I could remember, I've always thought to myself, if I lived with a, a programmer, I'll, I'll, I could build something cool. And then I met Quasi, and someone, because I used to say that all the time, someone actually introduced me to Quasi when I was a child, just saying that we should meet each other because we're interested in similar things. Um, and then years later, 20 years later, whatever, we built Dashini, the first one. And it took us a very long time to build this second version of Dashini. And we had a close to finished version, but we like tweaked and tweaked because I wanted something to be proud of. And it took a lot of work to finish it. So like, I know some of you guys might think, yeah, like I'm just like trying to sell and make more money. If you buy fucking Dashini Create, there's a free trial in the, in the description. That's not the fucking point. I this shit took, took so long. I personally like building stuff more than making money. And like, I'm just happy as fuck that it's done. So that's why I'm doing these lives. <laughs> like I was pretty much depressed for like the past two months and very kind of angry and frustrated just because we didn't get GS DSGini done to a point where we could actually get it out to you guys. And now that it's done, I'm just happy as fuck that I have it available. So whether you guys try it or not, I'll be doing the lives and showing you guys how to build a solid business, eBay dropshipping business using DSGini and how to dominate eBay dropshipping. Because like now is is one of the more, it's interesting. But the changes on eBay and DSGN is still available. Now is one of the times that you can actually dominate eBay dropshipping using DSGN because all the other software like processes break the terms of service and the guys using software get reduced in the rank so we could snipe their items and get high up in eBay, eBay search and sell more than them. And the guys doing drop shipping manually simply cannot execute faster than we can use in Dashini. So it is, there's no other time than now to start building an e drop shipping, eBay drop shipping business with Dashini. It's just, we just have a huge advantage. And like I'm seeing the success in the inner circle, and it gets me excited. The inner circle is actually going to be closed on the 15th of July for any new members, but that's a whole other story. Anyway, so let me stop rambling and get into it. Good morning, you beautiful people. So if you're following me, can someone just um, comment real quick that you're actually hearing me? So, Because no one said that. And smash that like button. So if you guys remember yesterday, we started building out a seller's list. And some of you guys been in my inner circle or are still in the inner circle. Good morning, mother. Um, some of you guys are in my inner circle and you guys know. Okay, what's up, Joshua? What's up, Veronica? Okay, we in here, as, as, as um, Roman likes to say. So guys, there's a free trial to DSG in the description. Go check it out. Um, so in 
so let me just go over real quick what are we seeing here yesterday i had ran some of these sellers i don't use this account outside of these lives so you guys could clearly document the progress of the account clearly see the progress before we had we always had 49 sellers but we had less listings less total sales and that's because we ran a couple of guys and their statistics are in here what this dashboard is the number of sellers that we have on the list the number of listings that we successfully ran that is in there and their sales right the reason for this is that i like to for every hundred dollars i want to sell a month i like one seller so in my mind 49 sellers is equal to about forty nine hundred dollars in sales if i snipe them successfully my account has over a thousand sellers i sell two hundred thousand dollars um so anyway, and I like to see how much, my assumption is that how much sales I have here, if I snipe all these guys, I could make at least 10% of that in a month. So I actually want this to be like, after I run everyone, I want this number to be like a million. But the purpose, before you start listing, before you do anything, as I tell you guys, you need to build a solid sellers list. And not just a list of sellers. When I say sellers, I mean competing dropshippers. But I also and also tag them. So these tags here: Walmart seller, less than a hundred, a thousand feedback, Walmart seller. So I ran this guy yesterday. So let's see what his his deal is. And guys, if you're using Dashini, when you run someone, it's taking a while. It might take a little while to run through all the listings, but continue doing other things and come back to it. So this guy has. 243 listings his average price item is eighty dollars and four cents in the past 30 days he sold seven thousand five hundred seventy seven dollars with 96 of them sold he has a sell through rate of 39 percent which is pretty decent so that means that at least 39 percent of his listings sell at least once in the past 30 days and we ran this guy yesterday right so what you have here is that we ran him and we wanted all the items that sold at least four times, right? So we have 13 items that sold at least four times. We could order it by number sold, so four first, or order it by, like, from lowest, sorry, to highest. So this item sold four times, the most sold item sold 18 times. And it, it, the total sales are $1,700 of that item. You could also order it by the value, right? So let's see what I did. So right now I am not, let me see if I, I, what I'm gonna do, what's up Eric? What I'm gonna, what's up Joshua? What I'm gonna do on these lives is simply do what I'm supposed to be doing, right? So this guy needs to be tagged. So I need to get some information. Where am I getting that information? I'm getting that information from eBay. What did I click now? Was this guy, buyer bargains. Right. So I want to see what information I'm getting from eBay is I want to see what he's selling. And guys, what I said, I've said this before in your lives. What you guys could take advantage of is actually steal these sellers, actually snipe these guys. Huh? Because this is free. Like, I, I'm not using these sellers to build my personal account. Um, wow, this shit is still selling. This type of stuff is interesting because I used to sell a very similar item seven years ago. I used to sell a very similar item seven years ago from Walmart. A five draw rolling, whatever, but but it wasn't a craftsman. Seven fucking years ago. So where is this? Walmart seems to have let me see what the deal is. Ninety nine bucks at lows, but this guy is selling it for one oh three. What I want to see is sometimes the price might have gone up, and he might might not have caught the price on the source might have gone up, and the seller might not have realized. So I like to look back at the history and see how much he's selling it for. So no, he, this motherfucker has been selling it for $97 forever. So let's see if I can figure out. 
So this is the same item. And you have to remember also, some guys get ridiculously discounted um, gift cards. Ah, that's one of his other items, my bad. Let me see something. Yeah. Eric, you are correct. You might be very correct. And that's one of my inner circle guys. You might be very fucking right, dude. Let me see what else. So that's just one item, right? So we found it on Lowe's. And from what Eric is saying, there's a 20. I don't lose use Lowe's at all. So Eric, is that 20% coupon? I don't use Lowe's. And I know Gail uses Lowe's. So one of you guys who are on here, what's the deal with that 20% coupon? You brought it up, Eric. So t teach us something on these lives because I don't know not much of those twenty percent coupons. So it's one hundred and fifty bucks, motherfucker. Sold for one eighty one. Yeah, dude, that's profitable. Again, I'm just using complete discipline. No, Veronica, I get you're very new to this, right? Um, these people don't have these. So these people sell them first on eBay, like myself. And so you upload the items to eBay. After you collect the money, then you go to, to the supplier, Walmart or Lowe's, and ship it directly to the customer. So, yeah, thanks for telling me that, Eric. That's sick. So you can't, you, the, none of these guys are buying this stuff before. I want to use them, but I'm scared. Dominic. If you use in Home Depot and it works, don't diversify unless you don't diversify just because you want to. Diversify when you run out of supply, run out of money to make from Home Depot. You don't want to change direction just because you get bored. But let me go back to what I'm doing. So this guy is definitely using Walmart and getting some sort of discount. And then this one. So that's Walmart. Yeah, dude, Dominic, when you have this system down, right, the goal is not to get all fancy. The goal is, yeah, I, I got you on the Home Depot, dude. The goal is not to get fancy. The goal is to build a system. What's up, Chris? The goal is to build a system to just, that will work and just pump money out. Eric, let's, ha let's jump on Hangouts at... 11.30 my time. So Dominic, the goal is not to get fancy. The goal is not to get bored. The goal is to create a system that works and just keep pumping money out for yourself. And then, no, right. Dominic, you can make all the money you want, but I'm just saying, if you have something that works already, you want to, 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 to scale that as much as possible. Automate that as much as possible and then move on. You see what I'm saying? So, I need to get my seller limit up. I can only sell 500. Just call eBay. Just call eBay to get an increase. So, Dominic, I've seen a lot of people. So, this dude sells from Walmart and Lowe's. I've seen a lot of people make that mistake, right? Um, so don't get fancy, dude. Like you have Home Depot, decent. Try to like exploit them as much as possible. Yeah, 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 Dominic. And 
Dominic, and don't get me wrong. I'm not saying, okay, I'm not saying this to say that I think that that's what you're going to do 100%. I just use this opportunity when I'm live on YouTube and showing you guys how to use the Yashini to interact with you guys and kind of like address certain things that other people might be thinking. So I'm not like, I'm not like, motherfucker, you fucking up. You know what I mean? I'm just like, I'm addressing something that you said. And I think other people would benefit from me addressing it. So I ran this empire, dude. He has 81 listings. Sensei Augustine. <laughs> 81 listings and he sold nothing. So check this out. This dude who's 81 listings and didn't sell shit, I still want to tag him. The reason why I tag him, I put horrible drop shipper. This is my personal tag. The reason why I want to tag him and not delete him is this. I appreciate your honesty. Best one I've found. <laughs> no problem, Veronica. Where are you from? Um, the reason why I'm tagging Empire7255, he's a fucking horrible drop shipper. So I don't want to snipe him and take his items. And I don't want to waste the time of running him thinking I'm going to snipe him and take his items. But I know he's a drop shipper because I did research in the past. And the one value that this, what that horrible drop shippers do have is to find other sellers. And remember, our goal here, I told you guys that our goal here is to first. So, um, Veronica, I have a, a, it's funny because I have a sister in law. Her name is Veronica. So when I see Veronica, we call her Vero. So I just, it's natural for me to call you Vero. Um, so, Vero. If you're from Los Angeles, it's easy to get eBay and PayPal. If you want to make some extra money, eBay dropshipping is the cheapest way to do that. So this dude is a, a pretty much a horrible dropshipper because he doesn't have any items that sold at least four times. But um, he is a dropshipper. And the value of horrible dropshippers are their titles. Okay? Because I could use this title and find other dropshippers. So if I go into DS Genie, so I tagged him as horrible dropship because I have no intention of sniping him, right? The purpose of this, these, these, the first set of these videos is to build the basis of your eBay dropshipping business, a solid basis. And a solid basis of building an eBay dropshipping business is building a seller's list. So for my goal, I would not find any items to sell for you guys until I have like 100, between 100 and 300 sellers that are tagged and tagged properly. And the reason why I'm doing that, it may get boring, but you guys need to understand what I'm tagging, why I'm tagging, what's in, it's important, why it's important. And then when I finish tagging this first week and building out the sellers list next week, I'm going to snipe and you guys will see how easy it is to find item sniping once you have a sellers list and it's tagged properly. So I'm, and I'm not doing any of this off camera. So I'm literally, I'm fucking literally showing you guys every fucking thing that you need to fucking do to build out an eBay, a solid eBay dropshipping business. Okay. Um, so yeah. Yeah. They, they all seem like Walmart Gale, but what I'm, yeah, they actually all seem like Walmart. So what I'm doing, so that's a good, good point, Gale. And I glad I want to talk through this stuff. So remember I said, I tagged him as horrible dropshipper because I have no intention of sniping him. And then I tag him as Walmart dropshipper because as my internet mother, my wonderful internet mother, Gail, pointed out, is that he's a Walmart dropshipper. So you guys would think, okay, so if you're not, you have no in, uh, intention of sniping this motherfucker, why would you also tag him as a Walmart dropshipper? So let me explain. Most dropshippers sell from the same... Um, supplier so if you generally sell from if you sell from walmart a lot of your items would would be from walmart right if the value of a horrible drop shipper is to find other drop shippers and i know that i'm using titles from a horrible drop shipper to find other drop shippers i could assume that when i use those titles i'll find other walmart drop shippers if that makes sense so as i showed you guys i copied a title from this guy this heavy duty rack I go back to the Yashini, 
I go to, where's this thing? Get seller. This little button right here, get sellers. I put in the title. I hit find sellers. Bloop. And what Diashini now does is Diashini would now go and find every seller on eBay that uses that fucking title. That exact title. Okay. Now, we just added. I, so we skipped one, two, three, four, five, six titles because we already had those on our sellers list. But we add, so if you guys remember before, we had 49 sellers. If I refresh this, let's see how many sellers we got from that one title. So from that one fucking title, we added 57 fucking sellers. So, Gail, exactly. I use poor sellers or shitty sellers um, to find other sellers. So now that I have these 106 sellers on my list, I want to do two things. I want to fuck you two cunts who dislike my video. Go get herpes. Um, but I love you 10 people that like my video and smash the like button. So... <laughs> yeah dude i lost some weight and i'm still trying so um what was i saying yeah so i want to now go and tag all these sellers and i would show you guys what the assumption is right i will show you guys that from using that title to find other sellers the other sellers i find are walmart sellers okay now to address a question that one of you guys and smash there are 22 of you guys watching video, smash that like button. If you don't like it, and if you don't see the value that you get from this video, and you don't see that you can snipe the same sellers that I'm showing you, and take the same items in this live video, I don't know what to tell you. Just don't like the video. Um, so sponsored listings. As I was mentioning to, 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 to Dominic about, he, we were talking about Amazon drop shipping previously. I tried to, to ex, to, 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 to make as much money from our process as possible, exhaust a resource before I move on to something else. So the way you snipe, it is, and if you use Diashini, it is, it saves you a ton of time. And now that pretty much all the other listing softwares get you flagged except for Diashini, you have a huge advantage. The name of the game in dropshipping and most businesses is time management, right? So you use your time more effectively to execute better than the other dropshipper. Why am I saying all of this? The time that it takes to, to, to systematically snipe and get sponsored listings, if you use that time to simply snipe, you'll have better results. Now, I do come across listings with huge margins that I ought, that if I come across a listing that I'm sniping that has big margin, I would now go and see what the trending rate is for that item as a sponsored listing, and then I would sponsor the listing. But there's no need to do sponsored listings, and there's no need to systematically do sponsored listings because systematically sniping is cost effective. It's time you have a time advantage. the The only thing you want in it is the advantage that you have. Once you find that advantage in any business, eBay dropshipping, fucking whatever you just have to execute 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 and keep exhausting that advantage by sniping you have an advantage by sniper dhne you have an advantage so you just want to keep doing that once you're doing it correctly all right so anyway let me get back to what i'm saying so this guy the, let me make sure so this guy is one of the guys we just found and we used a We used a title, we used this title, which is a Walmart item. Let me just confirm it's a Walmart item. I'm just saying it's a Walmart item because I know it. And that's one of the most sold items I've ever sold in my life. I don't sell it anymore, but that is actually one of the most sold items I've ever fucking sold ever in life. So it is a Walmart item. Right. So I confirm that, right? 
and he's selling it profitably. He's selling that 82 idiot. The reason why I'm saying that is because I want to check out one of the sellers that we got from using that title. Just to show you guys and to confirm that all the bullshit that I'm saying is not just shit that I make up and I pull it out of my fucking ass. It's stuff that like I've tested and I've been doing it for years and this shit just works. And when we have the inner circle and when I see people like Roman and Vashan and a fucking 12 year old using the she needs successfully drop ship, it blows my motherfucking mind. That's it. This is an interesting thing because I'm seeing this guy is actually interesting. So he has some buy now items. He has a decent amount of buy now items, but he has a couple bids, right? New listings. He has 182 listings. So let me just find. So this is his first buy now. What the fuck? He sold 297 of this. So I'm not even sure he's a drop shipper. Because you sell them, Lee. You sell them, Lee, find drop shipper. I mean, I have items that sound, sold more than this, right? So I'm, so I'm not saying you can't be a drop shipper and sold that much of an item. But a lot of the times you're not. They are not, sorry. So off the top, this dude has 131,000 feedback. <laughs> so I would not even bother I would not so let's what would do I do here I want to edit the seller the reason why I want to put not a drop shipper Actually, I might just put more than 100,000 feedback. And the reason why I, I have him in here and I don't just delete him is because I don't want to... He has a, a, a title that is used by dropshippers. But I don't... So I don't want to come across him again and just randomly run him and waste my time. So I am doing preemptive, preemptive actions that would avoid me just running him in the future. All right, so let me, so I'm not even going to waste my time with that guy. But I'm going to check some other sellers that I got from that list. Because remember, we're using titles to get sellers. So not all the sellers we get are going to be dropshippers. Exactly, Lucius White. <laughs> Find other motherfuckers and snipe them. I wonder if this guy's just not letting us find him. Yeah. The thing with DSGN is because there are some sellers that don't let you don't let you search them. I'm still gonna run this guy because I'm curious. So, to find if he has any listings. So remember, guys, all I'm doing is building out my sellers list. Huh? The, the basis of building a solid eBay dropshipping business is building out a, solid, a motherfucking solid sellers list. So that's all I'm doing right now. And I'm going to talk through me building out the sellers list so you guys will understand how why and so on i've never drop shipped on etsy the fuck? right so this is a chinese so he's selling from china whether he's based in china or not i don't know but this seller is selling from china i don't drop ship from china so again where's this thing They are Chinese sellers. They are um, exactly balance sellers list equals research. So Gail is my internet mother, and she's in my inner circle, and she came to Nicaragua for the live event. Let me see breaking break the market 
Just from the name, I know he's a new seller. I think that's stupid. I guess it's it's not stupid if you if you don't know they're savages like my dumbass. So how you know if it's a dropshipper, Lucia, Lucius White? I'll show you. I'll show you right now. So I search this guy a ton of cheap shit. And he has over a thousand listings. I don't like that too much. Not too much, but he may be a dropshipper. And he may be an Amazon dropshipper. So let me look at one of his items. A lot of these guys with a ton of fucking items and a lot of cheap shit are Amazon dropshippers. He's definitely a dropshipper. But let me search for the image. So when you come across a guy, you can either search for the description or search for the image. And you'll find the item on a other retailer and that will confirm that he is a dropshipper. See, I'm not a psychic. I've just been doing this shit too fucking long. So I just need to find the actual one he's selling. Set a fine canvas board. I try to get 10%. And now it's actually a lot easier to find 10% margin. What am I looking for? Let me see if I see the actual image. My fucking ADHD ass doesn't. Sixteen by twenty. Hmm. I have to change my location. But this is it. Yeah, dude. I use Walmart. I don't really use Amazon that much. Roman does. And Roman does money. Roman makes a decent amount of money. I don't, but... So this is cool. Anthony, yeah, you can. So this is a drop shipper from Amazon. So I'm gonna tag him. I don't, as I said, I don't like drop shippers with thousands of listings. But luckily, with Dieshini, you could order the items. You could um, you could order the um items by price. So I would, especially guys with like 1,500, I would run them and then snipe just the expensive items. So I'm going to run him. So while the, when I say run him, I'm just finding items that sold at least four times in the past 30 days, right? And it's not going to show up immediately. But while I'm doing research on the guys, adding tags, um, DSG is just plummaging through their listings and finding so guys, if you want to get the issue, you need there's a free trial in the description, all right? And today is not Monday, so I can give you guys a little more time. Yes, I do use Amazon Prime to, to um, fulfill orders. So he's not even, I'll delete that guy. The fuck? What happened there? The fuck? What 
what the fuck just happened? All right, so I'm back. Not too sure what just happened. If you missed it, yes, I do use Amazon Prime. Yeah, dude. So I'm doing research on each one of these sellers, right? And I know, again, I know this is going to seem boring as fuck, but I'm showing you guys exactly, like, Little fucking re, little fucking, literally, little fucking really, literally. <laughs> what are you supposed to be doing? Another guy who's selling on bids. This is interesting. Some of these guys are selling items. I don't like cheap sellers, and he's top rated. Let me see how much feedback this motherfucker has. Because he's a top rated seller, a ton of cheap shit. And 7,000. Uh, before I even waste my time, I want to run this guy. So when I see certain things that I don't like, I don't like to waste my time. So I want to see how much he's selling first before I make a decision if I want to keep him or not. What's up, Lisha? He was 1992. Let's see what's up with him. So, guys, those, those of you guys who are using the Yashini, please build out a solid sellers list first. The purpose of these videos is to show you exactly what the fuck you need to do so you have zero question what to do. Um, there's a link in the description to you try the Yashini for free. He is definitely a dropshipper. I actually know where this item comes from. No. Do I? What the fuck? He sold 151 of those bitches. Whoa, mama. He might be a... Yeah, Academy all those canceled orders, but I just use multiple accounts. So this is at Walmart. What the fuck? No, okay. It's not that one. I actually know that one. Because it should be this one. It sold 151 of these, and I've never seen. I need to snipe these fuckers more. Hold on. Let me just conf I want to make sure it's free shipping. Free delivery. And this fuck is selling it for two. 29 plus shipping. Wasn't it? Hold on. Shipping is 40 bucks. Do you sell this shit for 270? That is amazing. My bad, sorry. I find it hard to believe. And you motherfuckers like to say that you can't find profitable items to sell. And I'm just, I'm just, I'm not even. Ah, that's why I find it hard to believe. But he still sold it. The fucker still sold it at, at that price. And my guess is the price went up. So he might have been selling it from Walmart and there was a deal. And then the price went up. Because if you could look, we could track how often it was selling. So May, when it was cheap, he sold it three times the same day, then the day after, then a ton of times the day after that. So it's selling almost every day. So my guess is from this information that it was cheaper before. And then it jumped up in price and it was still selling. It sold at 209 in May. 
and then it sold in July. But he made fifty-eight fucking dollars. So check this out, guys. Right? I want to show you guys something. So this item, I'm not listing right now, but I'm giving you guys some tips. So this item, he's making fifty-eight motherfucking dollars. He did not sell it four times in the past 30 days. Understand that. This dude went all of June and did not sell one. So generally speaking, I would not even list this item. But I could beat the price considerably. So the only reason I, I may list this is because I could beat the item. But I'm not, I'm actually not going to list this right now because the purpose of this video is to do the right thing and to tag my motherfucking sellers. That's exactly what I'm about to do. So what I, I am going to run the dude to see how much he's selling. And what you guys will see is when you guys tune into tomorrow's live, all these, if you missed the first day, go back and watch yesterday's live. When you tune in into tomorrow's live, what we would see is all the guys that I ran today. So remember, I ran some guys earlier in the, earlier in the, um, earlier in the fucking video, right? Thanks, Gail. Thanks for the plug. Remember, so as Gail said, Walmart items change a lot. So we have this piece of software called Price and Genie. Um, you could go check it out. It will track your price changes. But um, yeah, so this fucking, I ran a couple guys and got a ton of things. What I want to see also, I have to add a column to this. I'm going to tell Rodrigo. I want to order the sellers by I can, but the purpose of this video is to tag these sellers. So that's a Walmart seller. And I don't want to be jumping around. Anyway, guys, so um I am going to, it's 45 minutes. I told you guys that these lives are going to be shorter. So tomorrow we'll see what type of, um, how much listing, how much sales all these sellers I ran today have. I'll continue tagging and then talk through and show you guys how to use Diashini and build out a solid eBay dropshipping business. But I need to get to work. So what my days look like today, I do the lives at 7.30 every single day for July. Then I go train my, I go work with the guys who run the eBay done for your accounts and train them. And then I work with my Amazon done for you guys. So that's what my day is like. Anyway, guys, it was nice. I'll see you again tomorrow. Um, I, I wouldn't, when I used to do one or two lives, I would like go for an hour, hour and a half. Got my LLC and seller's permit. Let go know and fill out the tax exempt forms. Exactly, Alicia. Once you get tax exempt, we get some more profits. All right. All right, guys. So I actually go live this afternoon at 3 o'clock, my time with Matthew. So check us for that. And Gil, I'll get to the orders. I'll definitely get to the orders. All right, have a good one, guys. Like the video, subscribe to my channel. Look in the description for free training and a free trial to DSGN. And peace. Later. See you guys later or tomorrow.